there and welcome to the locker room. Coach Giggs here and today's message, time, the substance life is made of. Time, the substance life is made of. Many years ago, I heard a speaker say this and at the time it went right over my head. But the older I got, the more I realized how precious life really is and that every minute counts. Think about it. If you were in the hospital like I was, or was told that you only have several weeks left on this planet, what would you do? If you had one wish to ask God in this moment, what would it be? If you had the choice, let me be specific, between receiving $20 million for the last two weeks that you're alive, or another 10 years exactly where you are economically, which would you choose? I think we all know the answer to this question. Time is the substance that life is made of. And if that is the case, and it is, why do so many people waste it and say things like, I'm killing time. Time is too precious to kill. Too many people treat each day like they're going to have another one tomorrow guaranteed right around the corner instead of treating it like the special gift that it is. It seems that the only chance some of us got of getting this point is to have our own mortality threatened, or do we? So often you hear about people who had a near-death experience and how it changed their lives for the better because they now realized how precious life truly is. Don't let that be you. Don't wait until something tragic happens to you or to someone you love to waste any moments inside of any day. Appreciate that you're alive. Let me give you some tips on how to make the most of each day. Number one, plan each day in advance. Decide what you're going to do inside each day before it starts. By doing this, at the end of the day, you'll feel a lot better that you did not waste time, the most precious gift of all, because you made the most of it. Number two, don't get caught up in negative conversation that will take away your joy for that day. Too often, we let people talk, uh, talk to us about their problems and other people's problems, and this is a waste of precious time that you have here on Earth. Number three, learn to live in the moment. Stop texting at lunch when you're with an associate or a friend. Be where you are and you'll not miss anything. Remember, time is the substance life is made of. So let's use it wisely. And together, when we do this, you know it, we'll be living our very best lives. Thanks for joining me today, gang, and we'll see you tomorrow in the locker room. Bye-bye. If you've enjoyed and feel the Daily Locker Room has served as an inspiration in your life, why not share it with a friend by sending them the daily message?